in this video I'm showing you what panels and what parts and brackets you need to remove on your Yamaha Tenray 700 in order to connect say a GPS or something else up front to the battery back underneath the seat. The easier way is to use uh, like this, this for my heated grips. So this is the original connector cable for the heated grips that plugs into the auxiliary ports and that's a lot easier. That, I don't know, 15 minutes it'll take you. If you use the original connector that comes with heated grips and you have to connect it to the seat, <laughs> you're talking about a couple of hours. So I'll show you what pants you need to remove in order to do so. The first part to remove is the seat. And on this bike it's a little easier because I have just a single part seat. The next part to remove is the painted panels up front and it's the same on each side. There are three T30 screws on the side of the panels and then in the front there are three T30 plastic clips. And with those you just need to turn the screw 90 degrees counterclockwise and then you just pull the plugs out. In order to release the two tabs that are located on the back side of the side panels, you need to push the side panels to where, towards the rear of the bike. Then you need to unclip the connections for the turn signal, either with a small screwdriver or the nail on your finger. The next part is to remove the vented side cover. It's held in place with two 4mm Allen screws and one little plastic clip. In the plastic clip on the top of the panel, you need to push from behind on the pin sticking through the middle of the clip but be careful because it's very easy to break the little clip. There are two more plastic covers to be removed, one per side and each cover is held in place by one 4mm and two 5mm Allen screws. After the six side panels, three per side, has been removed, then it's time to loosen the fuel tank. You don't have to remove it, but it needs to be loose. So there are two 5mm Allen bolts per side in the rear, and then you have two plastic clips per side up front holding the cover. On the plastic clips up front you just push from behind on the little pin in the middle with your finger and usually they loosen right up and you can pull the whole plug out. So after removing the four allen bolts holding the bracket at the rear of the fuel tank and the four plastic clips up front then you can slide the tank a little bit backwards. The next part to be removed is the battery and you need a 10 mm socket to remove the terminals. So always start with a negative and once you remove the negative just put a piece of duct tape on top of the negative terminal 
So then in case you drop a wrench or something, you don't short out the battery. The battery is held in place by the wide rubber strap, so you just need to unhook it on the side of the battery where the thermals are located. The last part that needs to be removed is a little bracket and all the bracket does is hold down the battery strap and it's fastened by six little bolts. Four on the top and two on the side and you also use a 10 millimeter socket in order to remove those bolts. Note the tab on the bracket holding the battery strap and that metal tab fits into a slot on the frame itself. So be aware of that when you put the bracket back on. The point of this exercise is to pull any new cable alongside the route of the existing cable bundle. Then you know, it, know it's out of the way, there's less chance of chafing and it looks much better. When you pull the new cable Always pull it from the direction of the smallest connection, whatever. If the smallest connection is up by the front, then you start back at the battery and pull towards the front or vice versa. And then of course at the end, you tie down the new cable uh, with some black zip ties, then it looks cleaner and it doesn't move around. And reapply thread locker to any of the bolts that had thread locker on them before you remove them. And I think it's only the two zinc coated bolt bolts holding the battery bracket. Placing all the panels back on is just reversal of removing them and when you remove them just put the little bolts in small little groups together with the panels that makes it easier to see what goes where. Pull new cables up front alongside existing cabling, use zip ties and just move the handlebar from side to side to make sure that the cables doesn't bind or chafe or anything. Good luck! Thanks for watching. Have a good ride, please subscribe, more videos to follow.